and welcome back guys we are just about to get into the second map which will be mirage the knife is and well out of the way thank god for that i know we all love it but sadly but we're not gonna watch that one were we no it was very exciting thrilling absolutely they ran thrilling. into each other and people died and someone chose a side but nothing happened yeah pretty much i think is the best way to sum that up but uh just so you know guys in in the break we did have a little bit of fortune cookie time someone's got chinese out there we did get told that there is a prospect of a thrilling time ahead for you so clearly this is gonna be a great game so the first game was won by the uh, fish one two three side looked very good the team code red did come back a bit but it was a little bit of a backwards game almost wasn't it It was the t side looking extremely strong on nuke which was, it was yes. just like what's happening here Shouldn't happen. Yeah. stop it immediately and finally the ct side which did end up being fish one two three did kind of step up and end things properly as we know it should have done so we are going to be on mirage we do see the ct side being uh, kind of populated by fish one two three whereas team code red will be up on the uh, t side bringing the fire and the uh, hopefully rather interesting attacking strategies to the plate so, pistol rounds on the way We've yeah, seen indeed. this map a couple of times already throughout this tournament. We saw our very first game of the weekend, TLR indeed. versus London Lynx on it, in which it went 15-15. A very yep. exciting first CSGO game for us this weekend. But this game is decidedly slower paced than that was. We saw a very, very aggressive early round stack from the T-side oh. on that first map. <laughs> nice drone. shots. Drone drop in. Keeps up with those very early headshots. Bomb down quickly now that they've got in onto that bomb site. And it's suddenly forcing CT side to come around, be on the aggressive. A little bit of team damage going on. Jake's drops, flashbangs landing straight on top of Paul Zed's face. He's going to have to make his way up that ramp soon enough. There's still five members of the T side ready and waiting. Now only two CTs left. Gets a couple of shots out, doesn't quite land the kill. Not the biggest tax in the world either. Reason drops Weber, it's all on Zed. He's got five to find and a bomb to defuse. So nothing to lose by going in. Got to try and grab a couple of kills if he can. Does get one, a little bit of money. But ultimately, T-side do take round one and that early money advantage. Yeah, that they will, and we'll be seeing a little bit of investment into uh, <laughs> a little bit of banter between the teams there, into weaponry and uh, a couple of light kind of SMG-style weapons being thrown out, the likes of the bees on there, and a couple of light kind of uh, MP5S guns that we can see to put good use close range. Not ideal over the longer styles, Donald, so you might be seeing a bit of a push kind of um, tailored towards that. Seemingly favouring this A site as well. It did go very well last time. I do not blame them one bit. Weber lays in wait. Just trying to position himself well enough to pick up a couple of frags and I think he's in the right place right now. He's caught a glimpse of one but it wasn't good enough. Spuds has claimed that as they'll now progress further towards the A bomb side. Again that bomb down it is a chain of events that is just not working right now for the CT side who have to get back into here. And you can see Keith is trying to lay down some fire just through the mid-little connector area, but not going to work. Zed coming all the way around to spawn to try and find a different way to challenge, but Drone has found another. It was Jake who's gone down. Zed followed suit, and now release, and only Keith to stand. And it's not looking ideal. They don't want to be giving away this money. Maybe catching players out is exactly what they want to be doing. It's actually re yeah, release, and Keith up just having to sit in and wait for this to happen, pretty much. Nothing you can do at this point for them. It's pretty much see how it goes. So, you know, the, the first couple of rounds, if you do you know, obviously not lose the pistol, they're never going to be on your side. They're doing what they can. Keita did find one there onto Red State. He's going to get out of the situation because he knows there's going to be players encroaching. Try and get away safely. I think that's pretty much what's gone on here. So they did claim another frag. They're just slowly adding a little bit of money to the bank and uh, hopefully investing in later rounds. We do sell them sticking to the pistols, whereas the likes of Red Snake and Co. will now get up to those P90s and a couple of others. I mean, there was a Bison SD. Well, not SD, sorry, but a Bison sitting on the floor there after that kill Kater had. He unfortunately didn't have the time to get out there and pick it up. They would have given him a little bit of firepower. But ultimately kills the kill. Still got that money in the bank. Red Snake now with his P90 heading straight out aggressively into the A side. Starts spraying down a lot of damage. Gets a couple of frags before he's dropped. But he is dropped nonetheless. Weber picking up two kills from the start before he's put down by a reason. And this Bison. Kater and Zed last two standing. They've got three to find. Bomb is now in with drone onto the A bomb site. It's going to get planted down very, very quickly, and they've got to make their transfer across from B site. Kater getting in. Starting to the first early bits of damage, but he gets dropped very quickly with only a small tag down onto drone. All onto Zed. Oh. He doesn't even get a chance. Dropped with a very, very deadly headshot from drone. I don't know if there's any other kind of headshot, but 
Well, it was an extremely deadly kind, but we do see a full buy now going in from the CT side. You've got Orcs here and there, a couple of M4s, and exactly the same kind of reciprocated on the T side. Obviously, the money will still be in favour to the uh, T players in a good couple of rounds. So, let's see how these guys do now going forward. This is going to be a little bit more of an even round here. This one pans out here. They still favour that uh, A bomb site. Then they are splitting up a little bit. The likes of Spuds and Coat now going down towards mid trying to even things out. But will they be expecting Keita with the Orb? I don't know if he's actually focusing. Then, no, they're expecting another race. They might actually miss it, but obviously, they can quickly rotate through. But those smokes really just blocking his gaze. But oh, look at Reason. That is a beautiful shot from Keita, landing perfectly, placing that right in his chest, but quickly avenged by Ben. Back and forth they go, 4v4 situation. Where is that bomb heading, though? Let's have a little spin across and find out. I think it's loose on the floor, actually, at the moment. Drone it is spot. loose on his sight. Yep, yeah, they've got to now try and get back in here and actually do some damage. Good saying, laying down the fire, but you can hear the orb shots rattling through, and oh, Drone's found the shot to Keita. That is the orb down. Drone found another. Drone is going wild right now, folks. Two stand and make it only one as release is left in a 1v3 because Spuds just claimed his last down teammate, which was Zed. Bomb now down. T players looking good. How can release get back in here now? Popping up with an M4, going to peer around. Look for a possible body in his way. Can't see anyone yet. Oh, he just missed Drone and a beautiful bit of late coming out from him. Really racking up the kills that round and securing that pretty much for his team. So, Team CRG looking a lot better in Mirage. This seems to be one of their maps that they can be really comfortable in. And hopefully they can keep this up because I think the CT side are going to eco. Yeah, that's exactly the thing. They were sitting on those pistols. We did see, of course, the pistol round win from CRG early on, giving them that early advantage, and they're starting to run away with it. Drone very rich now, 8 and 0. After his phenomenal early rounds. 4 0 completely then for CRG, as we've mentioned. Going to push home this advantage soon. Start making it more pushy towards A now with the bomb going in very, very quickly. Do get some big damage down. Weber picks up the first frag. Spuds returning though. Weber picking up a second one again. He's doing good for himself. Picking up quite a lot of kills here despite only being on the pistols for a while. But it's not enough for just one man. Keita, Zed, last two men standing over at the B site. Have to rotate now towards A because they know once more this is where CRG are. Drones in. Reason's in. Red Snake has the bomb. It's not quite on the site yet. I can hear these guys here switching weapons around. AK thrown across towards Zed. What can he do with it? Kate's are happy to stay with his pistol for now. Six hour P228. Lovely weapon. Lovely weapon. Doug P crown gets a little bit of damage down, but Drone comes out with more. And Red Snake helps him finish off to clean out the round. Five and zero in favor of CRG. Yeah, and this is a round that obviously the CG side can buy back in and hopefully stop the rob because this is running away from them right now. Five rounds down. You don't want to be in this situation at this point because, well, they had such an advantage on the prior map. They're going to start doubting what's going on here because they're just not getting a hold on Team TRG at all. So here we are. Weber once again set himself up on his favoured bomb site. It does seem as though A is uh, his claiming territory, but he does have a lot to fend off, it seems. Once again, T players enjoying this area. So position himself well. See where those two players are. Nobody is with Ben. Just waiting. Just around Weber. Drone popping out that flash. Who's going to be the one to charge it forward? See them edging further, further in we go. I'm going to have to spin to Weber here. Can he pick up any frags? You can see them on the X-ray here. Just in front. Does get a tag on one. Goes to the frag. Does get it down. Can he get a second? Yes, he can. Beautiful play from JKM and Weber there. Leaving all the hands of Red Snake. Can he find any more frags? Yes, he can. Two to the good. Can he claw any more back? Three remain. Oh, Kobe Bryant, clearly AKA release, just dropping their nade onto Red Snake. Not going to happen there for him, bless him. But nevertheless, great round for Fish123. They needed that. The play cut out from Weber, good positioning, confident. And well, with Jacob in tow, perfectly played. There's that momentum taken away from CRG, put back in Fish's flippers. Getting ready to try and take control. Flippers? When <laughs> did fish have flippers? Luck fins then, sorry. There we lucky go. fins. Go on, get it right. Point in name. It's my lucky fin. And let's see Hit if it's flippers. enough. Can they take the second round? You did see big damage being done by Weber in the early parts of that last one. Can he do the same thing again? Looking for Red Snake right now. He's the one with the bomb. He's the one they want to put a stop to. Jake is on the bomb site, picks up the first one. Kater answers with an orb kill very quickly as well. Two kills in favor of oh, yeah, Fish. One through play. three. Where that does get his next kill. More on the bomb site. Red Snake's low. He still has that bomb. Kind of get a, trying to get a shot, couple of shots out onto Weber. There but we ultimately, no CT players die whatsoever. Fish one, two, three in their element. 
Yeah, between Weber and Jake right now, they are really stepping things up. They're understanding the game. They've worked out the kinks. It was clearly happening towards a bomb site. They've got their crossfires right as paying off a good bit of money now beside them, enough to stick with these orps, AKs and such. And then obviously M4s and leaving the T's with not a lot beside them. They're back on those pistols. Uh, back to A we go. These guys are a really one site kind of team. They're not fussing around with B. They're happy with A and they will work it till it uh, doesn't work anymore. So, lining up those uh, smokes, popping them out. I can imagine a flash will follow suit soon. Trying to open up the likes of Red Snake so they can get in here. Let's see, oh, Weber's back in this position. Will they expect it again? There's the question. Will they check their corner? Here we go. Flash is coming out. I think they do. They're expecting Weber to do, but they haven't checked it well enough. Oh my god, it's not gone well. Jake's found one, but where is Weber? Is he on flash? Yes, he is. Here he comes. Weber to the rescue, but no, it's Jake to claim the frags. And here comes Reason and Red Snake causing havoc. Release has to do something. He stopped the rock. Found two. Does make it the third. The hat trick of frags for him. Beautiful headshots ripping through the skulls of Team CLG and put them back to the draw. Board. They're not going to happen this time, even though with their eco, they were damn strong, but not strong enough. No. So, three rounds on the trot then for Fish. One, two, three. Definitely back out in that ocean, as I mentioned, in their element. They Your are. puns. I don't know if they're even puns. You're just saying words together. Fish and Metaphors. Sea. No. Metaphors. No. <laughs> we're back up on K2. We've seen him land a couple of incredible shots so far throughout this map and the previous ones. Let's see, can he do it again? Can he get that first frag opening up the T side, weakening their early aggression? Not yet. Hasn't seen anyone. Let's see a couple of flashbangs go out, a couple of shots left, run right center. Nothing taking too much damage yet, though. More flashes going out. There's first casualty. Region picks up release. Red Snake takes down Zed. Kater does get a quick frag down, but ultimately the CT side are on the back foot. They are on the B side now with the bomb. And it is planted. Flash goes out. Okay, so got to go check again. More flashes come round. Vision. Got to get the rotate coming down now from Fish123. Drone drops Jake. Only two CT players left up. One of them has that orb. Are they going to go for a save? Looks like they are. Just looking after their weapons. Yep. No reason to throw it away. They have got good momentum. Don't waste your money. This one didn't work out. They were defending A site. It's not where Code Red showed up. Sit back, regroup, look into what's the next round. Yeah, exactly. I don't think they were expecting those flashes really drilled in as they were. Code Red really had that eight, the uh, B side even down as well. And I think all off guard there, you know, after the obviously the first good couple of rounds going all the way to eight. And now it's time to pick up the pace. Can they once again find that foothold and try and stop what the uh, T side are adapting to? That is the question here, folks. That's what we're going to try and find out for you guys. And they're not running with an orb at all. They're quite happy to stick to these AKs on the T side. They're uh, doing the damage, so we can't really question it. Looks a drone leading the way on the scoreboard for any of you wondering. Followed up quickly by uh, Red Snake, Weber, and Jake doing the exact same thing for Fish123. So both doing well between them. Walking their way up mid. Far being put down. Just keeping Keita at bay as Red Snake now will progress towards that B bomb site. Looking across. Will they know the players just behind them? No, they won't. They've allowed release the, the second of, uh, of thought to take down two. And now Zed joins in on the fun. Spuds has claimed that though. So, uh, towards the B site they are. Spuds putting the bomb down. Oh, here we go. It's all in the hand of Spuds, Red Snake, and Reason. They've got to somehow keep this crossfire alive. Okay, you can just see them on your screen. Try and set this up perfectly. Reason, Reason, wait, peeks around the corner. He's going to tag, but not the frag. Red Snake will, though. And here we go, follows up with a second. This is looking very good, but Weber does come in to save the day. Is it enough? Red Snake 1v2. Oh, great play from him. 1v1 now. It's all on Red Snake's shoulders. He's defending this bomb side. The clock is ticking down, but will it be close enough? Yes, it is. Red Snake, beautiful play. Cool comma collected. Team CRG is truly deserving of that round. Really, rather well. Working the B side. We thought they were all A. They've definitely got that B in the bag. No, nope, they kept going on A, and like you said, until it stopped working. It stopped working. They switched it up to B. I'm sure they can do that just as well. Made it work very nicely. Seven to three. Last five rounds in this half now then underway. They are looking to switch it back up towards the A site this time around. Bringing the bomb over here. They're taking it slow and steady. Fish one, two, three. How are you set up? Well, with a lot more players on the B site, it's how you are. So this A is open. Yet to see CRG really open up and show them. They're coming towards A. We do see Weber now up behind them. Take down one. Oh. Can't get the second, though. Nice reaction from Region to turn around in time. And the instant rotate comes out from Fish. One, two, three. Kater gets a nice frag down. Knocks out Spuds. Bomb is picked up again, though, by Red Snake. Flash is going down. Bomb's not been planted yet. 
Frank Grenade's coming in. We do see release on the backside in a good position. Case is here now with that AWP as well, keeping an eye on things. Bomb goes down, dodging flashbangs. Four, uh, so three T players to find. X ray confusing me. Three on each sky side. Tags go down on release. He's taken very, very low. Bomb still there. Stands up. There's a kill onto Resnake, but Ben will answer by taking out Zed. Orp drops there. 1v1. Orp v AK. Reasons behind this box. Kater doesn't seem to realize it. There he goes. He gets a little bit of vision. Switches out from the Orp. Goes in for the unscope. Can't quite land it. Reason shows him how it's done. Takes the eighth round for Code Red Gaming. Yeah, and that's exactly what they need after the uh, well state that was Nuke. This is exactly what they need to get that morale back up and high and hopefully enough to drag them through this. And we do see Spuds actually running with that AWP now. So we'll want to see what he can do with it. don't think we've seen much from them in the way of uh, AWP play coming out from the T-side, which is fair enough. The uh, CTs will be on an eco, so they're going to probably go and let's see if they can a couple of deagles here and there actually kill the light. Let's a little bit more fire. Don't know how the deagles are actually playing out at the moment. After a recent update, they were extremely overpowered. And I know a couple of players were like, well, we just won't play with them. You know, it's, it's unfair. But we're going to find out. And now, Red Snake with a P90 power takes down release. Follow up quickly by Jake with his pistol, but it's Red Snake again. This man's on a mission. It's not stopping anytime soon. He's going to drop another. That was Weber. So he's pretty much just walked through a fairly, uh, fairly contested, but it doesn't particularly matter to him. 4v3, lays down some more. Keeps up Zed and JKM have to defend. Oh, Red Snake Hawker. Or catch another player. This is incredible play from him. So it's just Keita and JKM now. Where are these two and what can they do here? Bump. Pretty far away. I think they're just going to wait for that eco. I don't think they uh, want to challenge right now. They've done okay out of this. They've got a couple of weapons each. That is enough. You don't want to go challenging the likes of Spuds, Ben and Reason right now. These guys have got a lockdown. The bomb site is pretty much within their full control. And there we have it, another round on the board for Team CRG. So just going to get out there, play it safe, and uh, look ahead to the next round. There it is, nine to three. 12 rounds played in this half, three more to go. As we start round 13, start looking at the buyers. A couple more weapons picked up on Fish 1, 2, 3, and then of course those leftovers they had before are spread around the AK and the P90, dished out to those that want and need. Lots of big weapons still on that T-side. They've had plenty of cash this entire time. An all up on spuds, AKs everywhere else. Where are they going to go this time? They're looking to shape up towards B from the sounds of things. But that's not to say they're going to end up there in the long run. We'll see how the CT defense shapes up, what they decide to do as they move around. Do you see a couple of CT players here? Is it going to be enough to hold the push for now until they get reinforcements? Release with an awesome shot. We'll take down Reason for the first oh frag of the round. God. Drones drop two by Release. He's on fire right now. Zed gets the next kill. That's a very drastic push from uh, the T side. Losing three members, still getting onto the site. Spots has the bomb. He's picked up with the help of Red One Kill. But here's the rotate coming in from the CT side. Bomb is down. There's only two people left to defend it. There's three of them here. Ben picks up another great headshot. This guy's picked up two frags so far. Looking to get some more. Tries to defend this bomb as best he can. Another shot. Brilliant headshot. And the T side, wow. despite losing three members the second they appeared on site, managed to plant, defend, and get out of there with a victory. 10 to 3. This half is very soon over. Yeah, indeed. The CT side is truly being locked out right now. JKM does have just about enough cut money to get a, a bit of an orb beside him. And a couple of families here and there. Hopefully Jake can make it work because it's a big investment. But they need to do something to make this happen. They need to get a couple more rounds on the board. Well, the last couple. And hopefully do something with it. But we can see it's a big push towards the A side once again. It's all going to be in the hands of... Is that release back there, actually? I'm not too sure. It's not. Who is that? Then, of course, it was Weber. Let's see if he can do anything. They're going to have to depend on the rotate. They didn't keep them pinned in towards the site. Jacob now coming into action. He does get the first onto Red Snake, breaking the silence in this round. Drops out the nade. Trying to work him down as best he can. He does have that up. Bomb now down, taking the time limit. Is not on the defender's side. Oh, shots rattling through. Keita has claimed that one. It's literally a bit of a battle within the smoke at the moment. JKM peering out. Looking across. Release now goes into the site. He's not sitting back for anyone. Keita's claiming another Weber comes in. Great play for Fish123. Brilliant retake there. And perfect play. JKM will finish that round off onto Spuds. And that bomb will be defused. Big stuff going up for Fish123. Why could they not retake like that every round? They were a little bit itchy on the trigger fingers, to be completely honest. There was a couple yep. of shots. Friendly fire going down in that didn't yeah. do the kills. But... One trigger, one round too many could result in disaster if they do that next time rounds. They have to check their fire when they're retaking those bomb sites a little bit more, but still, good round for them. 
10 to 4. Last round in this half. It can be played big by Esmond. Everyone using every last little bit of dollar they have. Yep. Laying down the big guns. Is that all? Keeping an eye on this T push. Jake is holding it this time. We've seen it on Kato. We've seen it on release a couple of times now. Jake's opting to pick it up this time round. Another quick kill for Kato with that awesome AK headshot. Keeping the T's pushed back down that mid side now. Bomb side's locked out. T push going very, very slowly. Nades going through the smoke. We do see, thanks to X-ray, couple players heading this direction. Kato can't quite see them yet. As soon as he does, he lands a couple of shots off. Not enough for the kill. Been tagged up himself though. 25 HP left. A bit of blind fire just to see what he can land. No damage at all though. T side dropping off with their push. CRG taking everything a little bit slower. Red Snake at the bottom of this ramp going very slowly up into this A bomb site. There is a player on here. He doesn't know where. Smoke goes out. Fish Weber. Can't see Red Snake as he comes through, but as soon as he reveals himself wow. out the other side, he's dropped round straight through the noodle. Turn down at 8 HP. Spots behind him on 32. Four members of the CT side left to find. And his Weber over there. We've already seen him pull off some incredible shots. The bomb is down now as well. Drone's got to be careful as he comes up this ramp. He has got support. So does Weber. There's two CT players watching this site. One just round to the right. Weber's over the far side. Now there's two CT players here, Jake and Takes it. There's the orb shot goes down. Drone does pick up one, but Weber's around the corner and releases there to help yep. back up for the last two. Ten to five. To the end of that first half on the our first map. map, second map, second map. I can't remember what it's called. Mirage. Mirage. That's the it's one. It's just a mirage. It is a mirage. It's and all in you your head. Imagine you do all. Yep. Second pistol round then. Let's see if it goes any differently before. Yeah, and well, I, I think Fish123 will do well here. We do have a server board. I think there might be a technical issue. It seems looking at those players. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I think they're having a couple of issues. Let's um, just try and find out what's going on with those guys. They're trying to work out a couple of kinks themselves. Yeah, possibly a bit of a team chat. We're just going to go to a quick little break while they sort themselves out. Hopefully it won't be too long, guys. And uh, we'll be jumping back into this one in just a moment. And welcome back. It seems as though the technical gremlins have disappeared and they are ready to rumble now with Fish123 just populating that T-Sonid and the CT players being Team CRG. So let's see how this one pans out. Will they play it the same? Will they favor the A-bomb side like we saw previously? They have their own little tricks up their sleeve. Let's find out. Weber opens up perfectly. Great hedge onto Drone. Close flash out. You can hear them screaming, go, go, go. As there we go. Release will go straight towards that A-bomb site. Fire comes in. Oh, careful. There was a little bit of team fire there. As you said before, very, very excitable guys at the moment. But bomb down and ticking the clock is now against Team CRG. As the flashes now come back in, countering, trying to get back into this bomb site. They are being held at arm's length currently. But for how long? That is the question. Fire comes in. Weber and release. Crack up the frags. And here we go. It's all on Reason. Reason can do nothing right now. It's Weber who puts him out of his misery in a big round from Weber. And uh, you can see on that seat, squad, um, scoreboard even 17 into 11. Really impressive play. So obviously this is enough now off the back of that pistol to hopefully get them back into this game. And ready to bring the fire. Yep, they've got that extra little bit of cash. They're going to start buying those bigger weapons, start making that push. And this time it looks like they're going to shake it straight up, heading down to B very early on. I mean, we saw the uh, CRG guys when they were on the opposite side, when they were on T side, taking it slower. They were doing A over and over again until it didn't work. And then they went to B. Preempting that, however, is Fish123 all walking, making sure to make no noise, crouching, walking through this top side. There are two CT players here. They're slightly in the repositioning though. Now they've been spotted. It's been revealed. CT's going to have a bit of a rotate as soon as they realize how many T players are here. Great shots coming out from Weber and release though to drop the two defending players. The bomb's going to go down quickly. Spuds is coming from spawn. Red Snake's drop, so it's Spuds and Reason now coming all the way from T-spawn. They've got five to find. And in this time, it's going to give them plenty of chance to lock down this bomb site. Spuds has been dropped very quickly. It's all about Reason now coming down through this pathway. Got one oh, to find. Jake, Jake is there. Great. Jake drops him. Very good round for Fish123. Barely even losing 100 health between all their players. No, that was impressive stuff. Switched up quickly. Really affirmed to push. Release and Weber opened up perfectly, taking down the two defenders. And then the rotators had no chance. They were held back 
kept at bay and beautifully played out. So it does seem as though the T side now does seem a little bit more favoured to fish one, two, three. They seem very comfortable here. And uh, obviously he's leaving the Team CRG guys on the back foot. But let's, let's have a little watch of Weber here. He's been pretty much opening up every round quite comfortably. If not him, it's been uh, red, uh, sorry, excuse me, release. Let's see if they can do it again. He's biding his time. He's not the one to make the charge this time. Let's see how the two players are heading towards release now. Once again towards the B side. Oh, great shot again. It's almost a repeat of last time. But can he claim a second now? Pushing towards that B bomb site. Looking across. No, it's drone to actually end his reign of terror. And Zed joins in on the fun. So 4v3 advantage still to the CT T side even. And the bomb site now fully in their control until those CT players get rotating. Spuds um, in his way towards the side. Does the spot one. It's reason as well. Now. Still the advantage, those they're working up against them are really involved here. And Weber's found one. He's come swinging around saying, get away from my bomb site. We want this round and we want it now. That bomb is going down. They want the money too. They're not happy with just the frags. They want it all and they got it all. Weber, brilliant play once again. Coming around from that rotate, holding any someone who kind of may have meandered in their direction. And they've secured that. So we do see two orbs actually on the CT side as well. We do have Red Snake there and Ben picking them up. So they're going to be holding them back as far as they can, it seems. Whereas only Keita for the T side is going to run with that one. So let's see if Team CLG can find that response now. If the T side rush this now, we could be seeing quite a bit of trouble here for CRG. These orbs, of course, long range weapons. They're not going to be great in close quarters. So we'll have to see exactly how it plays out. Fish haven't been playing this too speedy to start with. Now they've got the bigger weapons. They want to make sure they keep them. So they are slowing down a little bit, which means it could play in favor of CRG. They have got good smokes and flashes up at the moment, though, so there's no vision for these snipers. Here's Caters with his own. We've really seen him pull off some incredible shots. Does see one. There's the first drop. Red Snake is down, loses his orb. Jake, though, quickly answered up and is down on his arse. Ben dropped him out. More players defending either side. Two CTs on either position. Terrace closing in from every side. Cater has the bomb. Good flash comes out, forces him to back away. And the other orb from Ben. He's watching the mid side. Cater is round. He goes in and scope is going to be an orb fight. Oh, look see at the this. challenge. Good position. Oh, Brilliant oh, shot from Ben. Cater down. Bomb down. Orb down. CT suddenly have the numbers advantage. Release down on 15 HP. He is low. Spuds is around this corner. Doesn't quite there. It vets head. Does see him now. Nice shot straight to the head, but has to back away as there's another CT player around the corner. Doesn't want to give him that vision. He is Weber waiting for the reveal. Trying to figure out where those shots are coming from. Does return a couple of shots quickly as soon as he figures it out, but he doesn't land the kill. Picks up the bomb. And Weber and Zed got all this to do. Heading down towards this B side now. Zed looking as if he's always been AFK this entire time, but he hasn't. But a nice shot by Weber will shut down Drone. Two to find. Ben and Reason is an AWP and an M4 on the prowl. Ben is in the corner he was at before. He's already picked up one kill with that. Zed is throwing out a smoke. Flashing down onto the B site. No one there. Ben is around this corner. Weber getting shot in the back though, so it's not going to matter. Reason picks up that kill. Here's Ben. Zed's found him. He's got that AWP though. He's got to be careful going around this corner. Does land some damage, but it's nothing too serious. In fact, none of those shots hit. 100% health. Oh, at least one of them would go through. Timer hits zero though. And three kills for Ben will result in a round win for TRG. First of this half, and a good start as far as they're concerned. Yeah, they need to stop that, otherwise uh, Fish123 would just start running away with it. So, let's see if they can keep this up now. Fish123 need to bounce back. They can't let this get in their way. You see Ben still with that rather powerful orb beside him. He's been doing brilliantly with it so far. And it could be another situation where he gets uh, the chance to dominate. So, let's see what the TTs, uh, TTs even have in stock this round. Uh, not going for that B push again. They're going back to basics, back to A. It worked well before. Let's see if they can make it work again. Weber just holding back. Zed and Co pushing further forward. Just waiting around the corner. You can see Spud is doing the exact same thing. They are literally centimeters apart, folks. They're going to wait for that time to hit and then they're going to go. Weber just holding the back. Here we go, it does seem as though Jake is lining it up and raring to go. The flashes, the smokes are coming out. It is going to be time to go, boys. Release darts out. It's Spuds to find one, though. Can he find any more? He is laying in the perfect position. Yes, he has. And now Reason joins in the fun. Oh, it's an absolute whitewash for Team CRG. They're looking very nice right now as well. He's only got one man. Well, not even one man beside him. He's all very much alone by spawn. He's barely moved. He was expecting a little bit of a quicker rotate, but the CT side didn't even need to. They're happy where they are. They handled the frags and uh, the push was held in its place. No damage whatsoever onto that CT side. Yeah. And we're just going to have to try and save his money, save his weapon. And he's going to do that fine. He's miles away from all these CT players. He's got 40 seconds, though. 
might in fact encounter the one CT player that's on this side of the map if he's not careful. He's right on the other side of the wall. He has no idea. He's just going to wait in the kitchen, cook himself something up. Indeed, and it's that stalemate now, isn't it? It's uh, every kind of uh, gun counts, every penny kind of does come down to in those really critical rounds. Which guns can they get? Which ones may, you know, they be unable to afford? They can really change the game mid midway through. So we're well, just going to wait this one out now. And, uh, Team CRG looking really good. They've uh, turned it up. They, you know, the first couple of rounds are like, oh, that's not going well. Obviously, it was off the back of the pistol. But even the guns, you know, when they were involved, very strong once again. But as soon as those orbs were in play, Ben had one in his hands. That's really made the odds. Yeah, two rounds on the trot from CRG. Now they've actually got some weapons. Let's see if they can keep that ball rolling. They've only got to get four more to take this second map and take us to a third and final decider. Fish one, two, three, however, have all the work to do. Eight rounds on the trot for them if they want to pick this up and take it home in a 2-0 final score. This is, of course, the upper bracket final. This is by no means the last game these guys will want to play. So if they can get it over quickly, then uh, that will be nice and fresh before their final when it arrives. See where the T side are going this time. It does look like towards B. They're going very, very quickly. Got all those weapons up. Brilliant shot from Ben. Will immediately drop Weber as soon as he comes through the doorway. Bomb is on Zed. Doesn't matter that Jake's down quite so much. Pistol kill for release. Nicely done for him. Bomb is going down. Zed gets that planted. Oh, Another release. CT kill. Very nicely done release. He's picked up the orb for his troubles too. Does see one CT player making his way across. Can't quite land the shot though. Just Zed and release. Zed still only got this little pistol. Gonna have to be careful. Well, he's waiting, waiting for that CT peak around the corner. It's two to find. It's Buds and Reason. It's an M4 if he wants to pick this one up instead, but he seems to be happy with the AWP. Dancing around the C place. TT It's going to come around behind him. Here's the AWP out again. Checks around the doorway. He's the last man standing. Does pick up the kill onto Reason. The only Spuds now left up. 1v1. He's on the defuse. He has to be. There's the shots oh, coming out. Bomb goes off anyway. All players dead, but the terrorists do get the round. T side will claim that one. They played it perfectly to the time scale, but it wasn't an easy round to say the very least. So that was played down to the wire. Great bit of play from them. Coming back in when there was a full buy up against them. Extremely well played. And obviously the CT side now not looking so great for uh, weaponry or money. I think they might actually go and fully eco for this one just to get forward into those really big important rounds later on. You don't want to be kind of investing in the ones you possibly could live with giving away. So let's see what T side are doing this round. They do seem to be biding their time. Going towards eight. Long route around. release is seemingly the front of this charge putting it away for Jake and Co to line up those uh, flashes and smokes drop them out but you can see Reason has pushed up a fair bit here as it spuds but will they check that corner we saw Weber kind of playing this before oh he's actually a little bit closer this time okay, anyone's going to check it maybe they should because we've seen how much damage this position can cause spuds backs off and look somewhere else We'll wait till those flashes come over. T side still have no go, idea this it? is an eco, otherwise they could be getting so much more aggressive here. Yep. Can't take it lightly though, the likes of spots just laying and wait down below. We can see because of X-ray, obviously they cannot. And let's spin it over to see exactly what they're seeing. Pretty much release now. Line up the flashes himself. And I think it's going to be time to go, go, go soon. The fire is now coming. Weber has found the first onto the drone. Here comes Spuds, but it's not gone well. Release found him. Looking to a spawn. Ben, though, has claimed that with the pistol fire. Do not underestimate this man, but oh, there's Keita. And uh, he's as low with that all fire. So Reason trying to even things up onto Jake. Weber replies. Red Snake still alive and kicking, though, making his way towards that bomb site. Orp in hand now, looking towards it. Weber and Zed to go. But will any challenge here? Actually, they're getting out of there, going all the way to B. Long run, but it seems to be working right now. I'll really put Red Snake on the back foot because look who's waiting to catch the rotate if he goes. Oh, I think he's caught on to the idea there. Kind of double chips and going, wait. Ah, they might actually be a little bit closer than I thought. I think that's exactly what was happening here. Weber is just hiding in the corner, waiting for his moment to pounce, and there it is, and there it was. And Weber is clawing his team back into this one. The likes of Jake and Co. just beside him. They are doing extremely well now, getting it back nice and close. Look at this scoreline. Likes of release doing extremely well. Weber too. Um, Jake lining up the flashes and smokes generally to help him in towards that bomb site. So it's going the way they want it to right now. But Team CRG can't let this slip because at the moment, Fish123 are gaining momentum again. They are, and they are dragging into this. It looks like another eco round coming out. No, it's not. I completely lied. They just all switched off of their weapons. <laughs> We've got a couple of big weapons here for CRG. M4's a famous here on Red Snake. He's not quite as rich as some of his friends. 
does make that Saturday job for a rich pair in 12 or 2. 12 to 10. Keita has that all in his hand again. We've seen so many incredible shots from him so far. Just need a couple more rounds where he does it again to secure this game. Gonna get six. Easy enough. Playing this very slowly. Gorilla's heading towards B, trying to grab a little bit of CT attention. See if he can drag anyone over there on the rotate. Keita waiting here now in mid, looking to see what CTs he can find. He can't see these blue glows, of course. This is X-ray. They're through walls. He has no idea they're there. Weber looking up through that great drone. He's just on the other side of it, but he can't quite see him yet. He comes back down through this way, however, it could be a different thing. Now he sees him, starts getting some damage down, takes a little bit in his own, messes up that nade. 45 seconds before they've got to get this bomb plant. Spuds around that corner. Zed suspects something's up. It's not ready to go just yet, though. Both players waiting. Patience. It's two minutes feels like forever when you're actually playing it. But for us sitting here, it's already down to the last 30 seconds. Spuds finally switching to a nade just as Zed comes out, but it doesn't matter. He's behind him, and Zed didn't even check his corner. So down he goes. There's Spuds up top. Takes a little bit of damage. Jake gets one. Now here comes <laughs> Spuds down. He's getting a lot of frags from this position. Kater's the last man standing. He's got a four to find. He's got his AWP out. He's looking to try and find Spuds, but he's not going to reveal himself. Hiding under that ladder quite comfortably. We do see the call. Kater back off. Save your weapon. That's the end of the round. Three seconds. And CRG will go 13-10. Yeah, this is really coming down to those last seconds, whether it works or not, is being defined by how much progress they make during that entire time. It's really a drawn-out game, game, guys. It's not going to be a comfy one for whichever team takes this. They've, they've fought for every centimeter, every inch that they gain. And we do see the seat side back with a lot of weaponry beside them. It seems as though Fish123 are happy to go on that lighter kind of uh, weaponry stack and just try and look forward to those more important rounds, which are literally just a step away. 13 cent is the scoreline here. This is the second map. And let's see who's going to be causing the trouble this time. It does seem the fire is coming out towards Fish123 as they're making way towards that B-bomb site. Two splitting up. Drone has claimed the first with release, landing that perfect nade in use and Ben claims one as well. Oh, this is not looking good. Lambs to the slaughter, it seems, as Zed and Keita are the only ones standing still. Here we go, folks. Zed's got a frag, though. Can he find any more? Oh, no. Bad time to reload. And there we have it, almost at that near, near on no return marker. 14 to 10. Can Fish123 keep him in it, or will this go to a third map? So, seven seconds to make their buys, make their moves. Fish123 grabbing a couple more weapons. Big buys coming out from CRG as well. And Force, an AK saved from before and an AWP again. Spud's picking that up. Bomb being chucked back on spawn. Nobody wants it. Chucked it on to Jake this time. There we go. A little bit of miscommunication. Kata, MP7. That's a little bit of a step down from his AWP, but never mind. It's a gun. Release. Still staying in spawn. Doesn't understand where he wants to go. He's going to go towards B and try and drag some attention away. CRG comfortably in now, locking down these bomb sites like we've seen before. A little bit of a slow start from Fish have allowed them to do this. Flash comes out to weather. Nothing too serious yet, though. Spuds is back up where we saw him before. Calls havoc up there, and there's two people in the corridor waiting for him. Fish just hoping someone's going to peek. It's not going to happen, though. They have no reason to. Reason gets a kill on Takata. There's the gunshots unloading. Three for three so far. Two kills onto either side. Flashbang goes out. Bomb is on site. Jake gets the plant down. Backs away. It's now all on the CT side to make this push in. Smoke comes out. Two CT players on either ramp. And with that orb trying to land some long range shots. Drone does manage to take down release. Two T players left. The fuse should be coming in shortly. There's the shots coming out. Red Snake picks up one. Zed's got a kill. Oh. Zed's got a second kill. He's got one more to find. Oh. Can't quite Can't find it in it. time. Defuse will go through for Code Red oh. when he can find the bomb. He's hidden under that body. There we go. Got a little bit closer for comfort, didn't it? It was. If you didn't have the defuse kit, that would have been game. Indeed. But CRG, 15 rounds now. They cannot lose this map. Maybe it's force the... Uh, folks. Yeah, maybe force the overtime. But that's best case scenario as far as Fish123 are concerned. Looking yep. like we're going to go on to a round three unless Fish can get all five of these rounds. 
Yeah, this is going to be an uphill struggle as well. These guys are going to have to fight tooth and nail for this if they want to do it. And that is completely and utterly down to the Fish 1-2-3 side if they've got it in them still. And that is uh, literally the be-all and end-all of it. They're left on quite light weapons as well. Jacob does not have a full ideal setup, but nevertheless he's making it work. Claiming the first onto Ben, denying that early mid-peak. And now the bomb is edging towards their desired site. But this is biting time. They don't need to rush this. This is their important round. This is the one that they've had to look towards because there's been moments where they cannot do anything. So let's see how they're setting up. Let's put X-ray on so you can see what they're really coming up against in a mere couple of seconds. There we go. And once again, Spuds is loving that position and it works so well. I do not blame him for a second to be there. Or at least prowling around mid. Jake doing the same. Oh, Red Snake out of nowhere. Pushed up on the B-bomb site, connecting that orb fire and denying anyone the chance to edge anywhere out of their spawn, pretty much. So Weber, once again, joining up with them. Keita has found the frag. And now we do see it in a 4v3 advantage to the T-side for once. But for how long is the big question here? Zed release, Keita and Weber to go. And are they going to take this bomb? They just picked it up. They're now looking towards their bomb site. Let's see who's going to be the ones to find them if they do. There we have it. Let's see if this will pay off. This is a very tricky place to be in. Obviously, you can see how close this is going to come down to. This could be a big moment. And here we go, folks. This could be the one. He does get the first, but Weber denies the second as they are going to make their rush, rush towards that B bomb site. This is everything they have. They go in full pace and then completely putting the handbrake on there and just you turning around and slowing it right down. The pace is completely within their control. There's now Reason and Spuds are left to bring this back, peering out from beyond their spawn, having to cautiously push round. You can see the flashes are coming out. Oh, and Keita's found one. It's all on Reason now to claim this for his team. Can he go huge and claim that hat trick at the very last second? He's got the tag on the first, that is Weber. Back towards we go, he's not challenging here. They're looking forward to the next round as well. They're not going to throw this one away for something as kind of uh, unimportant as that, but it was a big important round for the T-side. This is them still alive and kicking on the, on the absolute cusp of losing everything. They're still in it, but just about. Yep, they've uh, still got their weapons too. He saves his M4 here. They've got four round buffer here from which they can still take this T-side down and end the map to CRG willing to just back off. I mean, that one not worth the risk. As the buy's coming in. Or getting thrown around, swapped about to people. And four, tracked across the red snake. Yeah, that opened the last round, landing a couple of big shots. The reason picks up another M4 up. Starting to make the push in towards A bomb site. T side, however, are all rotating towards B. Very aggressive push with the bomb. At least doesn't want to be right at the front with it though. Flashes down the little alleyway. There's no one there for him. Red Snake watching mid, watching that cross up from mid to A site. It's four CT players here watching A in one form or another. Ben has that all. Watching through a doorway where no T is even close. Still five T players up, five CT players up. Everyone going very slowly, waiting for that poke, waiting for that opportunity, that easy kill, that opening to allow them in somewhere. It's not going to come anytime soon, though. Everyone playing so very safe. Nades going out from Ben. A couple of flashes as well as some smoke. And there's the smoke to completely take his vision away. Can't really use the orb through that. First kill is on to Jake. Red Snake picks it up. Opening for the CT squad. They are still on that match point. Red Snake starting to move around. There are two T players outside here. There comes oh. Weber instantly dropping in. But Spuds returns with a kill onto Zed. Still only three, CT play, uh, three T players up. Four CT players. Player taking this very slowly. 40 seconds left in. CT still dug in deep. CRG more than happy to wait this out. 35 seconds. Release has the bomb. Has to start making a play towards one of the sites if they want to elongate this. CT player on his left. He has a suspicion. Can't quite reveal himself yet though. Poke out towards the site. As he comes around the corner, the orb's going to miss slightly, but there was two players there. Second oh, player is Cater, and he drops Ben miss. very nicely. Drone starting to rotate around. Weber's on the other side of this hole in the wall. Is he going to spot him? He does. Weber's no idea. Drone drops him. Bombs down, though. Cater now waiting to snipe out the approaching CT team. There's two in here. Nice kill for release onto one. Needs to get the second one, though. Reason is the last man standing. Oh, does pick it up. Oh, another round for Fish 1 2 3. We really do have a game on our hands. 
Yeah, on match point we stay, folks. They're not letting this one sit. They like the idea of us sitting on these beamingly hot lights. Like, guys, we're not laying you away from this one. We're going to keep you on the edge of your seat because we like to take, take it right at the last moment. That is exactly what they're doing to us. So 12-15 is the scoreline. Team Code Red on the verge of taking it to a third map here after losing out so drastically on the first, but looking very strong on the second. So, Flash of Smoke's coming in the way. Let's use Gnova and release his tagged up already. Oh, he's going right down here, but a big decisive push. It does seem as though they're on the eco as well. Oh my god, but Ben Nellis is not stopping for a second. He's claimed one on to Keita. And we saw how critical he was last game. Weber's found the reply. Oh, they are loving this right now because Ben is not stopping. Picking up a great bit of weaponry there. That is a nice pick up for him getting that orb. And now knows they've got some work to do. Zed release and Jkem on the bomb site. Bomb is down and ticking. Spuds, Ben, Drone and Reason. They cock this one down. Jkem's found one. He's got the hedge on to Spuds. Now all even, but look at the HP. It's not ideal. This was a mirror image back. Backward, isn't it? Look at that. Now, let's see who's going to find this one, though. Are those CT players going to go for it? Are they going to let them have this one and challenge another time? They are. This is coming right down to the wire, Panky. This is not going anywhere anytime soon. Every step they take is a calculated one because right now they're not going to risk a second. Yeah, Ben has that orb. He's not going to risk giving that away again now. He saves a bit of cash. Means he can buy his team some weapons now for this 29th round that's closing in on us. Oh, we're going to get a forced overtime from Fish123. If it is, then they'll have won five rounds on the trot to close that gap. Kater giving away the orb, bridging it over to release. Interesting strat. Let's see how they play it up. Slightly different camera view as we make our way towards this site. And he's looking straight down towards mid. No one coming in sight just yet. See to your side. That. Is that someone pushing slowly. up mid? There is oh two people God. moving up. Does he have idea? Release his drop. So that's the orb oh, down. Jake's drop down ben. too. Ben picking up two very silky headshots. Smoke goes out. Actually pushes the orb back towards the CT side. Nice little nade. Intentional or not. Zed and Keita rotating around towards B. Now Keita has that bomb. It's five CT players up. Ben with the double so far. I want to try and shut him down as quick as they can. Get in onto a site. Try and force the CT guys onto the aggressive. Otherwise, they will sit here and wait as long as they like. Nice flash. Forcing Kater to turn around means Drone can drop him in the back before he has a chance to respond. It's all on Zed and Weber. Have Code Red played this right? And got two to find and take us to a map three. Comes Zed, a couple of bodies around here. You know, someone's watching it. His drone is at the top of the ramp, does get vision now. Not ready to pull the shot off, though. No reason to waste it. Does fire one out. Flashes around the container. Flash is going to go down, gets a quick tag onto Zed. Nothing too serious yet, though. They're deciding to back up. Head down towards this beat alley now. Slides it in the backside. Weber leading their charge. Smoke out. They know roughly where the CT players are, know what they have to cover. Nice shot comes down from Red Snake, dropping him as soon as he comes around the corner. Doesn't lose his life for it, but it's still one for one. And oh, there it is. There we have it. CRG take round 16 on a nail biting 29 round Mirage. And will take us to map number three in just a moment's time. Indeed, it's going to be another break now, folks, so do bear with us. We are just going to switch over to the next map. I think it will be Inferno. I could be wrong. We're going to have to just wait and see which one comes up pretty much. But this is going to be an amazing game. This I is an upper bracket final to remember, that's for sure. Is. Truly is. And these guys are showing us exactly how to play it. So, guys, we'll be back in about five, ten minutes once they get their uh, toilet breaks, drink breaks, whatever they're going to do. They'll be back in their chairs, and we'll be back with you in just a moment.